is Glamis Sand Dunes. The view from up here is epic. This is a cool feature of this Onyx app that we're using. What's up guys, this is James over here. Evan, hey, how's it going guys? We are at a very special place. This is Glamis Sand Dunes, also known as Imperial Sand Dunes. So we're out here to kind of take you guys through Glamis, a Terra Crew guide on where we go, where we visit, spots that we frequent out here, where are some hot spots of jumps that we film. And we're actually working with this company called On X Off Road, which that's gonna actually help you guys get exactly to where those spots are. This is a great way for you guys to navigate out here in Glamis. So every uh, spot that we go to today, you guys will be able to find the Onyx app. So right here we're off Gecko Road. Gecko Road is about seven miles long. People camp alongside Gecko Road, off to the side of the road. Gecko Road, seven miles, paved road. You can enter from here from the highway. Ranger Station is right at the entrance. You can buy your passes from the Ranger Station. You can also buy your passes online. And also there's a bunch of spots on the way in the town if you're coming from like the Los Angeles area. There's like random liquor stores or grocery stores that should sell Glamis passes. Yeah, El Centro, Brawley. That's about maybe like 20, five minutes from here from Glamis from Gecko Road. Over here we have the Cement Flats. It's another popular spot. It's right off the highway. That's the Ranger Station and this is Sweet Marie's. So this is kind of like a, a, a part store and they have like flags. They even have, I'm not sure if they still have food, but they typically have like food vendors on big holidays and stuff yeah. like that. And I think I think they will fix, they have like welders and stuff so they will fix stuff here okay. as well. Yeah. They have like a small shop. Gecko is a great place to camp. The wind usually comes in going east, so you're not really getting a lot of sand from this direction. As you guys can see, it's pretty flat. You guys go out towards that direction going east. That's where most of the dunes are. The wind comes in this way, so that's kind of a, a little tip. And Gecko is cool because there's like turnoffs. So and there's there are places where there's like dedicated pads for motorhomes and stuff, which is great. Cement pads. Uh, cement pads and packed dirt. And then there are a couple turnoffs into campground loops as well that have big, big asphalt pads. If it's a holiday weekend, you get here Thursday, like you have a, probably a pretty good chance of getting a really nice pad back off, back off again. So this is really the premier spot to go, except for we'll talk about another spot that's like the baller camp spot. We had some very special friends meet us. Today, guys, is, is straight up Toyota gang day. So we got the runner and we have the two rock crawler Toyotas. If you guys uh, remember these Built to Destroy episodes. This one kind of just does it all. You get a little bit more power out of it. Yeah, these things are rad. So Brandon has the screw cab. Hunter has the extended cab. We're going to be roaming around with these guys today. We're going to head to our first spot, which is the next camping spot, which is the Osborne Lookout. And it's, it's, it's the prime camping spot. So let's go check it out, man. It's, it's a really cool spot. You guys are going to like it. We made it to our first spot, which is Osborne Lookout. I just want to show you guys something cool on this app real quick. So if you don't know the dunes really well, uh, this is a cool feature of this Onyx app that we're using to help get us around. So when I was at home, I uh, had good Wi-Fi. I, I saved an offline map. What it is now is that when I lose service, I'll still have the map loaded into the phone with like detail and stuff. And the cool thing about GPS is your GPS will always work even if you're not connected to the network. So the cool thing about this offline apps is that you save the map into the phone and then now when I lose service, the GPS will still follow me. I can still track myself and then I can find my way back home. And it's really important in like a place like Glamis because it's really easy to get like just turned around and lost out in the middle of these big dunes and stuff like that. I mean, so, th yeah, this is the epic spot. We're gonna take a step out of the car to check it out. But I mean, the view from up here is Epic. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a really cool spot. It's really hard to get camping spots here, but if you can, like, this is the Beverly Hills camping spot. Yeah. Yeah. It's where all the bougies, the bougies are at. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get some of the guys to kind of like rip around up here. You guys can get a better idea. We we actually wanted uh, Brandon and Hunter to come out here because these guys have like basically rock crawler four wheel drive trucks, but we wanted to see how they do in the dunes. These guys were telling us they drive the hell out of them out here. So um, let's check these things out, see how they do.
We have Brandon and Hunter here. And these guys told us in the last episode how they take their badass trucks to Glamis. And we wanted to put them to the test to see how they actually do out here. These are the big boy dudes. Yeah. This is where like the four wheel drive comes out. <laughs> this is where you guys come yeah, in to rescue. Yeah. <laughs> Right on, man. Yeah. Dude, the trucks look great, man. Let's grab, let's grab some bangers, man. Let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. Man, I'm gonna say these uh, these yeah. things do these things do pretty good. Yeah, they do all right. <laughs> that was lookout or Osborne lookout. Um, hope you guys enjoy those trucks ripping around. So next spot we're headed to is Competition Hill, which is um, just on the other side of this. It's kind of like a little valley and then like a pretty cool hill that people ride up and race and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm gonna put that into the Onyx app and uh, make sure we get there. Um, probably I'll probably track myself throughout the day too to see how many miles we did. On to the next spot, which will be uh, Competition Hill. So let's go. So way back in the day, this was the spot to come to at night. So everybody goes to Oldsmobile now, but a long time ago, they used to let people gather here on holiday weekends. Now they don't. A lot of people think Glamis is super out of control, but again, this is like a three day weekend. We're right off Sand Highway, which is right there. And Highway itself is right there. And this is Competition Hill. Nobody's here. Let's check it out, man. Let's see how these uh, four wheel drive trucks do. So now we're gonna head over to the Glamis store. We're gonna take Sand Highway, maybe film these cool Toyotas some more. And uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get on my Onyx app and I'm gonna tap on the on the Glamis store icon um, that's I've already pre-programmed in there, and it'll take us right to it. So that's the next spot. What are you doing? Here's Osborne Lookout. It's already, that's already marked. What I want to do is I want to mark this spot um, so we can come visit it later and, and know exactly where it's at. And if you guys are out here, you guys can find it. Yeah, if you guys are out here, we'll, we'll mark this competition hill as, as a Terra hotspot. So it'll be already embedded into the app. Um, so you just tap add waypoint. Terra. Yeah, comp hill. And then we can do, I'll just do this one because it looks like a jump, steep trail. And then we can add notes and photos if we want. Save, boom. Now we have a waypoint set. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna find Glamis store. Now I'm gonna tap on that and then I'm gonna go to go to waypoint and it's gonna set a path for us. It's gonna be a straight path, but you can always follow the way that you want to around go. it, but it'll always tell you where. Yeah, because that's like headed. straight through the dunes. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. That's straight through the dunes, but we'll take Sand Highway, which follows which follows the 78 here. Yeah, maybe we so. could even mark that and have it track it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's we could, we could track it and then we can make a new trail. Like, there's probably a lot of cool things about this half or whatever. But, yeah. Um, so, so here's the thing. We know you guys know how to get to the Glamis store and everything for people that have come out here, but there are a lot of people that don't come out here and it's gonna be your first time out here. So again, this is a guide for them, not all you other smart guys. So we are at the uh, Glamis Beach Store. It's basically like a mini mart. They sell some like old school vintage clothes here too, which is pretty cool. They sell everything you guys need out here. Flags, passes, maps. Uh, it's a family owned business and it's a super legit spot. Uh, we definitely, we want to see this place stay in business and continue to grow and thrive. 
So if you guys are ever out here, we'd love for you guys to come by and come support the Glamis store. Super good people, good family. So there's a full blown shop right next door. So if you break really bad and you're, it's, you know, you've been out here for an hour and you're willing to, to shell out some cash to get your stuff fixed, like I'm pretty sure they can help you okay. back in the dunes. So another very popular camping spot is the Glamis Washes. It runs parallel to the train tracks and starts from the highway to 78 here. You basically go in and you can camp at different washes that go farther south. So it starts from one all the way till, dude, I don't know, 30 something. Um, people typically don't camp past 18 or 20. If you don't mind all the traffic, commotion, dust, I don't know. I'm not a wash person, man. Maybe I sound biased, but if you don't mind all that, it's a great place to camp. It's a great place. Uh, a lot of people, you know, call it home out here in the season. I personally prefer the more isolated areas in the washes, like past wash 15, past 18. Um, so there's bathrooms at the washes. It is a fee area, uh, like all of Glamis. So you guys can again buy your passes here at the Glamis store and they check passes coming out and you can get a pretty bad ticket. So definitely make sure you guys have all that dialed in. All the partiers kind of- All the partying kind of happens over here. Over here in the washes, so. <laughs> So yeah. if that's your if that's your gig, that's probably gonna be uh, where you want to want to camp is over here in the washes behind the Glamis store. Uh, we're gonna head to Oldsmobile Hill. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go check it out. Out here at Oldsmobile, this is probably the biggest spot that you guys see on social media, everywhere. YouTube videos. There's if if you see a video about Glamis, there's always a good amount of that video is shot here. It's the most popular spot. Um, everybody comes here at night to party and race up and down. It's it's just this big ass dune with all kinds of whoops going the whole way up. It's fun to watch people try to make it up. There's guys that, that jump off the top. There's like a little lip, like right at the top. So people jump off Down into the dunes, yeah, or into the whoops. <laughs> we marked this location as a waypoint on the app, and I think we'll have Onyx Off-Road embed that into the app. So if you come to Glamis, there will be a, a waypoint set already for Oldsmobile Hill, and you'll just be able to tap on it It'll give you a straight shot, but you can always follow people through, track yourself on how you got here the first time. And you know, there's all kinds of different ways to get here, whether it's through the back or it's through the main way, which is the way we came. There's all kinds of ways to get back here. And, and there's, uh, even if you have a stock truck, you can get to this location. So it's really cool. So uh, let's give it a go. Let's see how these dudes can climb it, man. We're gonna see if these Tacomas can make it up. Obviously, obviously they can. What I really want to make it up is the, uh, the Forerunner. We might give her a go. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We're trying to peer pressure this full. I think after yesterday, Wait, what, James often, take it a little what James often forgets is that I live seven to seven and a half hours away from here and I have to drive that home. So what James really forgets is <laughs> okay, just kidding. Alright, alright guys. Let's check it out. So we're on our way to the sand drags now. At the end of the day, everybody kind of heads over there for the sunset sesh. We're gonna do the same. Let's go. For time's sake, we're heading over to the sand drags on the highway on the 78. But as you guys can see to the left, it's the open dunes over there, which is pretty cool. It looks super epic and yeah, beautiful. And here's Comp Hill right here. Yeah, there's Comp, there's, there's uh, Osborne. And then to the right side of the highway, well, the north side of the highway is the closed dunes. Um, now all this area is closed to all motor vehicles. I believe there's some areas where it's legal for you to walk through them, but if you guys have taken 50 yards of steps in sand, you can understand that's, I don't know, what kind of psychopath <laughs> enjoys that type of torture. <laughs> Just kidding. But if you're trying to get the leg day in, bro, it's right there. All right, fun fact. James, check it out. Oh! <laughs> 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 
bottleneck the end uh, because it is, it is pretty it is pretty wide uh, so you don't want to bottleneck the end of the, of the drags so on big holiday weekends it gets pretty dusted out here visibility kind of gets bad going towards the end of the drags so just be aware of that if you guys are out here for something like that the rollers uh, in the drags the whoops get pretty big so definitely pre-run it before you guys go in full speed at that thing there's been also some accidents from people bucking and doing things like that. We'll mark a waypoint at the drags and the various other parts that we went to today, and that'll be available in the, the Onyx app um, as Terra Crew hotspots uh, when you come to Glamis. So you can you can go in, you download the app, and you can uh, you know just tap on that waypoint, and it'll take you. It'll show you the, where you need to go. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for checking this episode out. If you guys have any questions or comments of any places that you guys feel like we missed. Um, any other spots that you guys would like to know about with Glamis, uh, leave a comment in there. Let us know where we need to go, what we need to see. We obviously know there's some other spots that we missed, but if there's specific places that you guys want to see, comment comment below. Let us know where to go. You know what I really want to see is where is the better place to camp, Gecko or the Washes? I, we need to get some debates going on in the comments. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have any questions for us, please leave it in the comments. If you guys would like to look up the Onyx off-road app, we have a link in the bio right below us. You guys can get in there. Um, there's a seven day free subscription to them. So you guys can download that before you guys go out to the desert, experience it for yourselves, check it out. It's fairly easy to use. And we encourage you guys to check it out. Uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And as always, comment, like, share, uh, so we can keep doing what we're doing and bring you guys awesome content. We'll see you at the next spot where we want to show you, you know, how to get around. So thank you guys for watching, we appreciate it. Oh, my God.